Welcome to your guide to being a medical doctor. This is going to be a general guide to, let's just say, medical as some non-specialized role would play it. A specialized role would be something more like a paramedic or your CMO or even the psychologist, although not really a huge category, as well as... Um, the chemists now chemists are usually going to be medical doctors they don't have an individual role on on as you can see on the crew manifest so they'll usually just be a medical doctor so i don't expect to see something crazy like that but in any case what do you do as a medical doctor well most of the time you're going to have people coming in and they're going to be bringing in they're going to be hurt in some or another way it's kind of you don't know how they're going to be hurt but you can usually prepare to some degree your chemists they will create a batch of medical medicine that will be generally applicable to let's just say 80 percent of the damage that's going to be coming in most of the time it's going to be um brute force so brute is like if you pierce someone if you scratch someone if you punch someone that all falls under the same category right um on the other hand, you have damage such as poison, for example, or radio, or being radioactive or having radioactive damage. You can also have cellular damage. There's a lot of stuff. The way that you can check someone's health, and I'll use this, this guy as an example, is you can take your PDA, and I think it's a female actually, yeah, apologies. Um, you can take your medical PDA, and you can scam someone so now there are also other um, there are uh, health and like analyzers that are also available but that's more for the public okay i see that engineering is not having fun this game but um, so here you can see your brute is your blunt, your slash, and your piercing. You have your burn, your heat, your shock, your cold, your caustic. You have your genetic, which is your cellular. That's more like... that. That's cancer, essentially. Just think of that as cancer. And then you also have your air loss and your, uh, your, your blood loss. Now, these two kind of interact differently, but in the same kind of way. Blood loss and air loss are two different things, but they're both under air loss. You can treat them with two different ways, or well, there are multiple ways you can treat them. But I will go over, I will go over medicine and what kind, what kind of medical uh, things you're going to need. I'll go over that just now. But for now, just focus on the fact that there are different types of damage, and you need to scan a patient whenever they come in. You are going to have people coming in, and they're going to have a type of damage most of the time, or they are going to drag in a dead body. Let's just pretend, though, that someone's come in with an injury. What are you going to do? Well, depending on how severe the injury is, let's just say it's 10 burn or something very small. You're going to be able to take ointment and you're going to be able to click on them. Now, there's no damage you can heal with the ointment. That means that you're done applying with ointment, right? Now, ointment is not the best way to treat someone who's got burn damage, let's just say, for example. Instead, you're going to want to use DERMA. Now, DERMA is an abbreviation. I can't remember the exact um, title for DERMA, but just, just know it is DERMA. That's the first uh, five letters of the, uh, of the full name. So if someone asks for DERMA, you know that they want to heal burn damage. And that falls under the entire category, right? That's not just like burn damage. Oh, that just heals heat. No, no, no. Burn damage heals the entire category. Um, by car will heal blunt damage. That will be all, uh, sorry, not blunt, brute damage. That will be everything under that category. Um, so there are a few pills that you'll want to ask your chemists to make first. And I know that most chemists will know to make it. That will be your Bicar, your Derma, your Dex Plus, your Dilo, your Hyro, uh, Iron, and um, maybe a little bit of Tran and a little bit of Fowl. 
Um, they each do different things. You can look what they do in my chemistry guide, but to give you a quick overview, your bicar does uh, heals blunt damage, your derma heals burn damage, your dex plus it heals asphyxiation, and your and it, it also heals blood loss. Your dilo heals toxins. Your hyro heals minor radiation. Now there are certain upgrades. So dex plus is an upgrade of dex. So just it heals it better. But there are certain upgrades like Arith, which will heal heavy radiation, but it also uses brand, uh, brute damage, right? So think you can literally just think of that like chemotherapy, right? So I'll make a, I'll give you the whole list on how to how to create all that stuff you know all the all the ingredients all that that will be in a chemistry guide but for now you just need to understand how to treat patients now overdosing you want to give someone a pill and then you want to wait about 60 seconds depending on how bad it is when it comes to by car by car is not as easy to overdose as something for example as um tran tran it'll it'll heal it'll it'll overdose very easily and then you're gonna have a lot more issues you're gonna get poison damage probably depends on you know but you don't want to overdose and that's why i know that i when i'm cmo i ask that all doctors they pick a patient they bring them to their to a room they put them in the bed and then they are treating them no one else is treating them they are because then sometimes You'll have people bringing in a pill. They'll give it to their patient. They'll run back out, and then someone will also come in here, do a quick check. Oh, they need, they need bicar. They they they've got blunt uh, brute damage. Nope, overdosing them. If you're first learning medical, I would suggest shouting out loud what you're giving someone, what pill you're giving someone, and then you just you just keep on using your medical PDA on them, and then seeing if they're getting better. Right, that's essentially what it is. Um. Now there are multiple intricacies that come along with that. So for example, <clears throat> gauze, blood packs, ointments, and brute packs, they each do um, important things when it when it comes to healing someone. So a bruise, sorry, not a brute, a bruise pack will it's in the name, help with brute. Um, ointment, as I mentioned before, will help with burn. Blood packs uh, restores some of your blood loss. It does, as far as I remember, it doesn't stop the blood loss, but it does help with it. And then your gauze will stop um, bleeding, as I asked in chat there, because I forgot. <laughs> but um, regardless, let's move on. So you've had a patient come in. They are hurting in burn damage. You bring them in, you sit them down. Now, medical beds, when they are uh, buckled in, they start healing slowly, right? Now, you need to understand that some people are going to come in critted. Now, what does critted mean? If someone's in crit health, it means that they are immobile, they are unable to do anything, and they need they are like in the process of dying, right? Um, you will have a fair share of people coming in crit. When it comes to crit, what you want to do is you want to stop the bleeding. You want to give them whatever whatever health you know alternatives that they need. And then you oh, see the powers out again. You need to you need to then try and get their their health up, right, so that they don't die. Well, if they do die, so if they bleed out, for example, in crit, then they're going to be dead. Now, if they are dead, you must look around in your um, area. You'll find here this is a defib cabinet. If they are just recently dead. So if they haven't, uh, if their soul hasn't left their body, I think, and they haven't started rotting yet, then you can def uh, you can defib them. But make sure to heal them up before you defib them. Okay, that's important because if you don't, they're gonna just they're gonna get shocked awake, and then they're gonna just go, they're gonna tick straight back down into 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 death again. So don't don't make that mistake. You need to heal, then defib. Okay. Now. Some of the intricacies, um, you're going to have usually someone sitting in the front there, front desk for managing inpatients. It depends. You Some of the, some of the times you won't. You're going to have your area here with all of your medical um, lockers. Now, you also have here 
you've got your infectious disease area or otherwise known as virology this is for um, viruses that spread there are there are cures to each and an individual virus i will go over that in chemistry because some of them you can make so some um like space cillin, you need to craft, but there are also some drinks from the bar that you can you can help with. Here you have your chemistry department. As you can see, they are hard at work creating stuff. Um, again, you, I need a whole guide to explain to you chemistry because it's a whole process, but just know that they create pills and you need pills. So be nice to your chemists, okay? Cloning. Now, cloning, what happens if someone comes in and they have taken extraordinary amounts of damage <laughs> you can't revive that person so what do you do well you bring them over to cloning now i'm sure you've been cloned before because most people have died <laughs> but if you're very new then this is how you clone so this is your medical scanner you're going to take the body you're going to drag it so you're going to control click on the body you're going to drag it in. You're going to come here. You're going to, let's just say the body's over here. You're going to drag the body in. So you're going to hold down left click. You're going to drag it in. And then the body's going to be in the medical scanner, right? Then if, let's just say, I'm going to, um, I'm going to climb in. Just, that shows you that there's a body in the scanner. Now, what you'd usually do then is you'd go to the cloning console and then da da da. Or if you want to put someone else in, <laughs> um, if you want to put someone else then then uh then you can eject them like i was displaying there but then you're going to come in here and then it's going to say you are going to be able to clone right now you need biomass to deal with to, to be able to clone and when you do clone it's going to come out here to this machine now this machine also needs biomass so you're going to need to take bodies to the morgue and to the biomass reclaimer reclaims biomass from corpses and you're going to want to put the corpse in there if they're still able to be uh, cloned you won't be able to slot them in there you won't be able to drag them in but if they are able to if they if they're gone you can um you can turn them into biomass then you take the biomass that's been created and you um apologies and you put them in and you put the biomass in this machine then when you click the clone button they are going to appear in this in this machine and then you've cloned someone congratulations help them uh, get their stuff and then you're good to go that that's it so surgery i haven't interacted with too much i've never really see seen anyone <coughs> like no one really gets taken into into surgery as, as far as i'm aware um if they have i've never seen it in my in my hours that i've spent this is the um cmo's office just to remember again remember blue for uh command and uh, that that's kind of the job as a doctor now there are there are multiple different intricacies little tips and tricks i'm going to make a advanced guide on medical that'll have little tips and tricks i'll give you a quick one like did you know that you can uh when someone is in the crit state you can hit them with an epi pen and as far as i'm aware you do come yes here it is emergency epi pen medi pen and uh it will it'll it'll give them some uh, it'll give them a boost and then it'll give you the time necessary to give them some pills but in any case, that is my quick guide for medical. I will get into the more advanced aspects. So I'll make a CMO guide and I'll make a paramedic guide as well as I'll make a chemistry guide. If I'm missing something, apart from the fact that robots, but I'll go into robots in a different video, but there shouldn't be anything that I'm missing. If there is, please let me know in the comments and I will try and get to them. Um, if this turns out to be completely inaccurately false, then I'll make a new video. I'll probably make a, a remastered version in the future and, you know, dumb or compress a lot of this information because I know I've been going for a little while now. 
But uh, please drop a subscribe and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.